go. So we've got our can of pumpkin. Whatever kind of pumpkin that you love. This is organic pumpkin. Again, I was shopping at the co-op, so I was kind of forced to buy what they had on the shelf. So just get all your pumpkin into a mixing bowl. I've got my handy dandy mixer ready to go. Um, I wanted to mention my daughter. I'm going to dedicate this episode, or this show, I should say, to her because she loves my pumpkin pie and she would always like to make it. So this one's for you, sweetie, because um, I know how much you love pumpkin pie. So you, you and uh, you can try this one at home. So I'm going to add my milk, whole can. Oh, it's a lot of milk. Ugh. And um, you can try this one. Impress your friends. She likes to have a big Thanksgiving dinner with all her friends at her house. I'm going to put in three eggs right now, folks. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys will try this recipe because it is so tasty and it's really easy to make. You're supposed to crack your eggs into a separate bowl in case you get a bad egg. Have you ever heard of that expression? You know, you could get a bad egg. But, um, and I got to rinse my hands with a little soap because I don't want to contaminate anything with the eggs. But anyway, I've never gotten a bad egg yet, whether it's an egg or a man, you can talk about, you know, getting a bad egg and it has a man, <laughs> but uh, nope, nothing but good eggs. So here we go, I'm gonna do some sugar. I don't even know what that meant, but anyway, I'm gonna do, <laughs> this is a half a cup, because I don't have a whole three, but you need three fourths, so that's a half. And here is a quarter, three fourths cup of sugar. Now we're gonna do our spices. First, I'm going to do salt. Quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go. And again, be really careful, folks, when you're measuring. Sometimes I do it separately over a bowl or over the sink because you don't want to add too much salt. Ah, almost did there. That's perfect. Okay. And then we're going to use a half. A, no, I'm going to use a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, it won't fit in there. Dang it. I'm going to do this one over the sink just in case I add too much cinnamon. Oh, there we go. Okay, a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, a half a teaspoon of allspice. Here's my half. Ground allspice. In you go. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. You can buy the whole nutmegs and grind it yourself if you want. And then a half a teaspoon of ginger, which I don't think it's going to fit in. Oh, yeah, it did. So that's my secret pumpkin pie addition is the ground ginger. In you go. There's your spices. We're going to mix it up real well with your hand mixer. So everything is nice and smooth. While this is happening, I'll have some wine. Sometimes I add flour if I think it's, you know, too thick. But I think that once I put the cake mix in with it, so what you're going to want to do next after you've, oh, after you've mixed all this really well, you're going to pour it into your pan. 
you come over here. And pour it on in. Yep. Okay. Then you take your cake mix, which I got right here, and you're going to gently sprinkle this on top of your pumpkin mixture. Here's my recipe. Right? Yep. Gently mix, sprinkle this over the top. So I think this will be my thickener because it's got a lot of flour in it, you guys. So I think everything's going to work out just great. It's a lot of um, cake mix, too. And just pour it on in gently, trying to cover every inch of it here. Mmm, you can smell that vanilla. It's smelling good. Yeah, this is gonna be work. This is gonna work out great. So don't worry if it looks a little thin, you guys. It could be a little thicker. Maybe use less milk, but I think this is gonna cook up just perfect. And if it don't, oh well. <laughs> use less milk next time. Okay, so then after you do your cake mix, you're gonna want to put in your um, your chopped pecans, which I haven't done yet. So I will come back and we'll do pecans and the butter together. And we'll throw it in the oven, and I'll show you how to bake it. So let me get a sip. Cheers. Say a prayer over this that it doesn't come out too runny. <laughs> I'll be back.